Hey everybody, how is everybody doing on this really sunny um, Thursday afternoon again for my live at one o'clock. Um, so I'll just wait here for a second to welcome everyone because this one is a really big one today and I'm really, really thrilled to be doing this one today. So I know it's going to help a lot of people. Um, so first of all, hi Katie, lovely to see you. If you are here live, just drop me a hey in the comments, say hello, join in. And if you're catching it up later on replay, just do a hashtag replay. And I read all of the comments, so you know, that's brilliant. I'll, I'll go back over them. So for you newbies that are here joining me, for those of you that don't know me already, so I'm Suzanne James and I'm an infinite potential coach and NLP trainer and I help female entrepreneurs break through their limitations, reprogram your mind for success and help you step into your true potential using those powerful NLP and timeline therapy techniques. So, um, well first of all, the other thing is, aren't we really lucky at the moment in the UK <laughs> with the weather that we're actually happening? It's really making lockdown so much more bearable, isn't it? Having all this beautiful sunshine. So um, yeah, and if you're not in the UK, just let me know what the weather is like where you are. So hi Katie, I can see your comments coming up now. They weren't coming up a moment ago. So today's session is all about how we can stop those crippling fears and those nerves when we are speaking in public. And this is just something that um, I know it affects such a lot of people. Hi Charlotte. You know, it really does affect them. So I'm guessing that you are here today um, because, you know, you maybe are a woman in business or you know, you're in your career or whatever you're, you know, you're whatever you're doing and you get completely overcome with fear when you're speaking in front of people, you get sort of that, um, you know, you'll get, get that anxiety and worry, um, you know, how it's going to affect you in front of your audience and how you come across and you just want some simple tips to actually just kick this, these feelings up the butt and get back to being a badass woman. So you stay with, stick with me today and I'm going to go through with you three simple tips just to help you when speaking in public. And I'm also going to, you know, if you stay till the end, I'm also going to give you some practical tips that you can use too. So this is going to be um, really, really useful for you. So one of the things that I come across um, is that people have that, you know, that kind of, they're scared of speaking in public. You know, whether it's speaking at an event, at a conference, or even doing Facebook Lives, or doing a presentation in front of the team, um, delivering a sales pitch, or just speaking in public, whatever it is. And, in, you know, for, for me, I know that a lot of people that come to me for some help and support, that actually speaking in public is often one of um, someone's biggest fears that you know it's it was actually said at one point which I'm not sure is true or not that um, you know they actually feared it more than dying itself which is completely ridiculous isn't it um, and there are actually so many great benefits to being a you know a great public speaker I know that I speak at events and I absolutely love speaking at events because it can actually, you know, the benefits of it, it can really advance your career, you know, you're growing your business, you can do great collaborations, and it's basically you sharing your stuff, speaking about your ideas and, you know, your expertise, so it's your opportunity for you to present yourself and the, um, you know, the, the kind of the benefits that you can show people. So, Many people, though, don't do it. They don't do it because of the fear of standing up and speaking in public, which means that you don't get to present your solution to those problems that affect people. And it's going to stifle your ability to be able to grow and have that impact, especially on the online space right now. You know, it's something that you, 
um, it's really worthwhile in being able to kind of overcome this fear. So before we go on, let me just ask you all a question. Hi, Anton. Hi, Stu. Um, so let me just ask you a question. Who here is actually scared to speak in public? Or who's got that huge anxiety when it comes to doing it? Just drop me a note in the comments there about, you know, or, or, or on the opposite of that, or do you find it really easy to speak in public? Is it not something that actually has bothered you before? Just drop a note in the comments there and just let me know. Yeah, you know, it, it is something, yep, everybody's kind of, yep, just put me a like or a heart or whatever if it's something that actually you struggle with. Hi Jo, lovely to see you here. So, okay, and who else then? So if you all, you know, you've had that scared feeling or you get that anxiety uh, when it comes to doing it, then who has then therefore passed up some great opportunities because of this fear? Just again, let me know in the um, in the comments. So Charlotte, little anxiety, but it can push you on more uh, about videos are, I'm, you're scared of. <laughs> Okay, so I can't see all of the uh, comments there. So, so you get some anxiety, but you do push through. Hi, Simone. Great to see you here. So yeah, just drop in the comments who is scared to um, speak in public or has that anxiety and who has passed up some serious opportunities because of this fear that they let it get um, the, ben you know, the benefit of them. And just let me know how this does affect you. How does, you know, this, I know that I've had people in the past that have come to see me that actually have literally been com completely overcome with fear about doing it. So let me know how this kind of fear of doing it, how it affects you and what it stopped you doing it. What, what's it stopped you doing? So just pop me a note in there. And the other thing there is that many people not only worry about doing the actual speech itself, so doing the actual talking, they also worry about what they are going to look like in front of their audience. So how are they going to come across? And yet yeah, we often, oh, let's just pick up some comments here because they're starting to come in now. Okay, so Katie, you've avoid, avoided doing any live videos and joining in on networking calls because of this. Oh my God, yeah, it is. And so many people do it. The Facebook Lives are, are you know, it's, it really does stop a lot of people. And then Joanne, and I got told my, my trainings were very good and then got not so positive feedback after one. I can't read the, oh, and that stopped you. Yeah, and, and we've got this, we do have a habit, don't we, of, we can be in a room of 500 people and 499 of them think that you did absolutely fantastic. And that one person kind of goes, oh, do you know what? And it could be something really silly of, I didn't like your necklace or, or something like that. And we take that we you know our brains are programmed to to actually tune into the negative so we do actually you know that's that it that is how we're programmed so we do have to overcome that and you know and one the problem is when we have that we can actually stop doing what we're good at we can actually stop getting ourselves out there which is you know if you've been told joe that your trainings were really good then, you know, you are, you know, you're not sharing your expertise with people by not doing this now. So maybe there's a little bit of a challenge coming up for people coming up the here to actually do this and maybe get on, uh, get on some live and actually uh, do this with us. Um, so, yeah, you know, we often, we can also often over, overestimate the kind of the audience and um, the people that, um, were communicating with, like Jo there, she may have put so much emphasis on maybe that one person, you know, maybe seeing them as a threat to credibility and their image. And we can often see um, our audiences as judges, you know, so they're evaluating us as a person, evaluating us on how we're presenting, um, rather than seeing it as a way 
of us expressing our ideas and telling our story and you know sharing our expertise so we can sometimes place too much emphasis on the stakes that our audience have that we're communicating with um, rather than seeing it as the opportunity to present what we're doing you know and the other thing is as well that we um, how we actually see ourselves you know the thoughts that we tell ourselves and the beliefs that we actually have about being a, a speaker will dramatically affect your ability to perform um, you know, if you go out, if you think you're thinking to yourself that, oh, that, that last presentation that I did or the last training that I did or whatever, um, you know, that one person said I wasn't very good or, um, you know, or I'm no good at speaking in front of crowds, I'm rubbish at being a speaker um, or I'm boring or no one will be interested in what I have to say, then this is going to raise your anxiety. You know, your mind believes everything that you tell it. So I want you as a first thing, I want you to remember the first thing that here is that they are there for you. They are there to see you and hear what you've got to say. So really just keep saying that to yourself. Really remember that. Um, I want you to challenge your beliefs. Challenge, you know, that because these are often completely irrational and they're not supported by your experience or your facts. Or, the, or, or they're not factual at all. So let me get on to these three simple tips. And they really are simple because it is stripping it back to basics. So the first thing, um, anyway, be, you know, is I want you to actually practice some relaxation techniques. Learn to relax while you're thinking about doing your presentation or your, your speaking event, preparing for it, and then doing it. Because you know, this reduces the fear. You, you need to learn to control your breathing. Lower, it lowers your heart rate and it just lessens that tension in your muscles because as we'll go on to in a second, your physiology is everything. So right before you go out and do some speaking, if, uh, you know, go, go and speak in front of someone, take some deep breaths. And I always do a breathing technique where I breathe in for five Hold it for five and then breathe out for longer if, if you can. It's a, it's a really good calming and relaxing. And it just completely shifts your whole being, your whole physiology. The next one is about your physiology. Number two is about your um, physiology. I want you to strut your stuff. You know, if you are suffering with low confidence or you're shy or... Um, you know, or, or, or you're fearful or you're worried about doing what you're going to be doing, then your whole body is going to slump and collapse. So I want you to be confident. When you are going out there and you're on that stage and you're in front of people, I want you to be standing upright. And, you know, pull your shoulders back, um, you know, and smile, you know, <laughs> really look like you're actually enjoying it. There's nothing worse than seeing someone doing a speaking event and actually, they're standing there, you know, with their shoulders hunched over and they've got this kind of scrunched up face because they're so fearful of actually doing the speaking that, you know, they've forgotten to enjoy it. They've forgotten to actually enjoy what they're doing. So I want you to get your shoulders back, head upright, and I want you to smile and go out and enjoy it. You know, your energy flows where your focus goes. So focus on what you want to happen, not on what you um, don't want. And then tip number three is I want you to visualize the successful completion of the event. And what I mean by that is to imagine it turning out absolutely perfectly. So I want you to imagine yourself 15 minutes after the event has finished and it has gone amazingly well for you better than you could ever have imagined. You know, what will you see when it's 15, when it's over? What are you gonna see? You're gonna see everybody clapping, um, you know, see all their smiley faces. You know, what will you hear? You know, will you hear them, you know, congratulating you, for instance? And what will you feel? You know, will you feel that overwhelming sense of achievement and satisfaction that you've delivered such a fantastic presentation? 
So turn up all your senses. Really, really turn them all up. Imagine how people are going to respond to you and keep focusing on that rather than what could possibly go wrong. See yourself actually doing it and it's gone perfectly. And the, you know, this is um, a technique that athletes do. You know, they rehearse their performance in their mind before they've even done it. And if you check out my video that I put on my page on Tuesday, I will be, I was demonstrating there the super hero pose, the super Wonder Woman pose. Um, you know, so really, you know, go in, go back and have a look at that uh, at that video a video because it you know, it's a great pose to have before you go out and on the stage to do it and then anchor that anchor that um, to take you through. So there's my three top simple tips and just a couple of practical tips for you is to prepare 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 prepare. You know, this will help you to you know, shift your focus from worrying to actually preparing. And the more prepared you are, you know, you will be much more focused and the le less distracted you are by fear. And no, another practical tip is to practice in front of a mirror before you do it. So you know exactly what you're going to say and then imagine it again going really, really well. And give your listeners the benefits Describe it by putting it in, you know, one sentence, um, you know, of 140 characters or less. So describe the benefits that they're going to get as you start off um, and have fun with it. Have fun with the words that you use. So talking to keep your listener engaged and exude that confidence and speak simply. Now, what I want you to do is now to go out and seek more opportunity to uh, opportunities to speak right now. I want you to go and find them. All of these speaker opportunities, I want you to go out and get them. Go out and find them all now because the more experience you get, the more confidence that you will gain. And remember that I've actually got my free mega success and abundance meditation going out right now. You know, this is going to give you a supercharged boost of inspiration. So make sure that you've actually downloaded my meditation. That will really, really help you instill the confidence to go out and deliver. Um, hi, Maria. Hi, Naomi. Catch up on the replay. We're just coming up to the end. Um, so I hope you found this useful today. Comment with your biggest takeaway that you've had. And, you know, share it with anyone else you think would find it beneficial. And remember as well, coming through, I've got some exciting news that my Mega Success Mindset Accelerator, my six-week coaching program is coming in June. If you DM me, um, you know, to get on the waiting list, then you will receive a £100 discount too. And there are limited um, places in that programme because of the kind of the bespoke individual support that I provide. So make sure that you are on the wait list for that. Um, okay, so that's me done for today. Hi, Aaron, lovely to see you. Um, just coming in at the end, I'm just finishing off. Um, time for me to go and have some lunch in this gorgeous sunshine. Um, and enjoy the rest of your day, everybody. See you again next week. Bye for now.